Hello and welcome to the video on locating, downloading, installing, and using NetBeans. What we're going to do here is learn to install and use the version of NetBeans that matches our lab computer. First thing you have to know about NetBeans and Java is there's constantly new versions being downloaded. And our lab computers can't keep up with the new versions. Now, on my Canvas page, I often put a link to the Java NetBeans bundle, and hopefully it'll work, but quite often Oracle changes this URL. So what I want to do here is go out to the Google and show you how to load a NetBeans bundle. We'll do a search on NetBeans bundle, and notice the version 8.2 that I'm searching on. 8.2 is the closest match we have for the lab computers. And if you click on the 8.2 link, it'll take you right to the same link. First advice, if the link doesn't work on my page, is to go ahead and Google NetBeans Bundle 8.2. You'll also notice a second link here, and that takes us to the current version of NetBeans. And if I follow this link out, it says NetBeans, and what you'll notice here is it's version 10. We do not want version 10 of NetBeans. The lab has version of 8. Any version of 8 that you can get for NetBeans is what we want. The first thing I want to point out on this screen is we are downloading two programs. Bundle means together. We're downloading the JDK or the Java Development Kit version 8 with NetBeans version 8. The JDK is Java. NetBeans is a program that helps us write Java programs. So we're downloading both at the same time. You can download them separately if you'd like. However, I find the bundle version is the easiest one to download and install, especially for beginners. So we're downloading two things here. JDK, which is the Java development kit, with the NetBeans IDE or the NetBeans program. It's two for the price of one, and that's why we like to use this version. You can see on this screen there are several versions available. There's versions for Linux, versions for Macs, and versions for Windows. I'm currently running on Windows, and for most new Windows computers, you're running the 64-bit version. So I'm going to click on and download the 64-bit version of Windows. I'll hit Save File and it'll start the download. Now this download might take a few minutes. I'm running on a Wi-Fi signal here that is not the greatest, so I'm gonna hit pause on the video recording and I'll come back when the download is near complete. All right, we're back and our download is complete. We have finished our download of the bundle and now it's time to install NetBeans. Here it is, I'll run the program from my pull down menu. Up pops the screen saying, do you really, really wanna install this? And absolutely, yes, I do. And it's starting the install. Once again, I will pause while this is installing and come back when it's near the end. And we're up and running. Notice how we're installing JDK version eight plus NetBeans version 8 at the same time. That's what a bundle means. We're installing two programs at once. Here's the install of the JDK. Always install JDK first. I'm going to go ahead and take the default directory. If you can, leave it in the default directory. Then it's going to ask me where do you want to install NetBeans itself. And again, I will just take the default directory. If you can, use the default directory. I'm going to click the automatic updates because I want to stay on this version. And I'm going to run the install. Now, this is going to take a while on my computer. I think I need a faster computer. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and pause the video and come back when this install is near the end. Also, keep in mind, notice the message. It's installing the JDK first. You always have to install the JDK first. All right, we're getting near the end. Remember, I paused it so your install won't go as fast. Now it's doing the NetBeans install. Remember, there's two programs here, the JDK and NetBeans. 
Now it's doing the NetBeans install. I wanted to point out that it is a second program. NetBeans is what we call an IDE or Integrated Development Environment. It is a fancy front end to Java. The JDK by itself will let you compile and run Java programs, but you have to do it from the command line. You have to type in commands to compile. You have to type in commands to run. The NetBeans is a pretty front end to that that allows you to point and click. So I'm going to say no on the contribute to the NetBeans project and hit finish. And hopefully my install of NetBeans is done. Now, if I come back out to my main screen, you can see right there on my desktop is a NetBeans IDE 8.2. Woohoo, it looks like my bundle install worked. Let's check it by double clicking on it and running NetBeans. Things are looking good. Loading. Takes a little while to run it the first time. And there's my NetBeans IDE. Woohoo! That's the home page. That's the front screen. It looks like my install worked. Excellent. I always like it when installs work on the first try. Next up, let's run a NetBeans program. Let's create a program, compile it, and run it. So I'm going to go File, New Project, and select, select Java, Java Application, and hit Next. Now, most of this on the main screen you can keep as a default, but the one thing I do want to change is the project name. Let's call it uh, First Program. This is our first Java program, so I'm going to give the project name a decent name that describes what we're building. Whenever we're programming, we want to name it to match what we're doing, and this is our absolute first program, so let's call it First Program. Project names. Class names, variable names should have names that describe what they do or what they are. Let's call this first program. Now the beauty of using an IDE is not only the beautiful interface, the point and click that we get to do, it's actually going to build a lot of the program for us. You can see that it generated the shell of a Java program. It included the package statement, the public class, even wrote our main Main is the method that runs first when we execute the program. It did 95% of the work that we need done here. All we have to do is insert the executable commands and we're off to the races. Now I'm not looking to do much here, just a simple print statement to show something on the screen. So what I'll do here is, uh, my name is Chris. That is my name, and that's all I want to do with this first program, is print a simple message to the screen. Once I have it done, you'll notice at the top of the screen, there's some buttons up here. There's a hammer, that's the compile or build button. There's the green arrow, which is the run project. The green arrow will compile and run the program, so that's the simplest way to get moving. And I'm off to the races, and if all went well, you can see down here, my name is Chris is shown up. It looks like we have a successful install of NetBeans, plus we can build a project and run a program. See how quick and easy that is? That's what IDEs do for you. They automate a lot of the tasks that need to do to run Java, to create, compile, and run Java programs. I'm having some delusions of grandeur here. So what I'm going to do is change this to Thor. My name is Thor and see how easy it is to edit, change, and rerun the program. Once again, over here I could run the green arrow, but if you notice there it says F6. Under the run option here there is a fast key or a quick key F6 to run the program. If I'm editing a file and I want to run it, I don't have to go up to the green arrow, I can just hit F6 to run it. And it will compile and run the new version of the program. And there it is. My name is Thor. So hopefully you can see that NetBeans is an easy program. Our only problem I'm having with NetBeans is new versions are coming out all the time. If we actually tried to keep up with the latest version, we'd be installing new versions every single semester. And frankly, they change so much we can't keep up. So what we do is every few years we update the system. 
and what we'd like you to do is download and install NetBeans version 8, 8.2 to be a little more specific, and get up and running with that, and we'll be a happy camper. All right, well, thank you very much. That's just a start. Enjoy the rest of the class.